Alright, hello. Time for part two. Um, so, if you haven't watched part one yet, this ain't gonna make no sense. So, I suggest you go watch part one first. Um, so yeah. Part one was putting the glue onto the mannequin to make the mask. Um, part two going to be painting it. So what you need is, um, sorry, hold on. Sorry. So what you're going to need <coughs> is your mask on the mannequin head or the bust, whichever you use. Um, white nail polish and you need to do a color but I'm just gonna do silver sparkles um, so yeah you just take the nail polish and you literally just paint over everything um, I'm gonna paint before I take it off so I think it'd be a lot easier for me so yeah just Do the white first. So, yeah, just paint over all of it. Sorry, it's probably going to take a while. Um, but, yeah. So, I might at some point stop this video, finish it up, and then... That's the video of me taking it off. So yeah, just so make sure you get paint on, you know, you, well you can either use nail polish or actual paint, whichever you prefer, um, you know, either one works, so it doesn't really matter which one you use. Um, just make sure you get like a nice even amount on everything. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, the only downside to using the star from mannequin heads is when you pull them off, <coughs> unless you've got a dark color on the top, so you can't see anything through it. Um, you can kind of see spots from the styrofoam, because it, it does peel up some of the styrofoam with it. Um, so, yeah, just... Make sure you cover everything. Come on, get out of there. Sorry. So yeah, there's <coughs> there's a lot to do. So you don't have to take too much time on it. Um if you've watched my tear tutorials where I did the tears out of hot glue, um, yeah, I took more time painting those, <coughs> honestly, because those were smaller. Um, so, 
so yeah. Um, but yeah, you should watch those ones too. Because they're really interesting and some other cool thing to do with hot glue. <laughs> Who would have thought hot glue could be used for something like this? You know, It's always just been, you know, repairing stuff. Not, you know. I have the white on all of it, which you can't really see very well. Um, so now I'm going to do the <coughs> silver glittery sparkles, at least start it. Um, I might shut the video off and then, yeah, just make it start a third one. Part three of me <coughs> finishing it and then taking it off the mannequin head. Um, this one, um, the glitter makes it a little bit more easier to see where all you've actually applied because if it's not sparkly <laughs> or in some people's case colorful and <coughs> you know you haven't applied anything yet. yet. Um, so, yeah, the reason I decided to do, um, just <laughs> sparkles, um, was because, I don't know, I don't know, I, I just, I think it looks cool. Honestly, it can be worn as part of a Halloween costume, um, if you're going to a masquerade party, that works too, um, <laughs> It's actually pretty quick and cheap, honestly, if you're going, like I said, you know, going to a masquerade party and, plus if you've got, um, a face cast that's fit to your face, you don't have to worry about, you know, masquerade mask being uncomfortable and not fitting because that's quite frankly, it's your face. <coughs> so, um. Yeah, because I might have to let this dry. No, not might. I'm going to have to let this dry before I can take it off of there. But, um, yeah, I've almost basically got like half of it done already. Um, it's really quick and simple when you're not doing a color and you're just doing the sparkles. Um,. Because you don't have to worry about it, you know, there being any gaps because the sparkles aren't going to, you know, be a solid thing. So, <laughs> I don't know how well you guys can see that, but there's, that's the sparkle half, and that's the non-sparkle half. So, I, guess, I don't know if you guys can see the difference or not, but, <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm just going to finish this up, and then... Uh, so yeah, I think I'm just going to finish it, let it dry, and then, <coughs> well, I think I'm going to stop it here and then make a third video, so this is just going to be like a 10 minute long thing. So yeah, just remember, do the white first, I don't know, just me personally, it's, you know, just basically like the base coat. Um, I'm actually going to add more glue on this side because this side doesn't look like that one because that one's just like a straight line and this one like goes in I want them to look more the same so yeah that's it for part two